Hi everybody, this is Tara Woodruff and this is day two of 30 days. I can't, so silly. I decided to do what Sarah did and turn off the light and just allow myself to be in the dark, but okay, there I am. Now you can see me. Anyway, this is my day two video challenge of 30 and I'm pretty excited to be doing this because it's a lot of fun and um, I hope you really like Sarah's day too she she crushed it she's like what anyway so what do I want to talk about today well I just got done watching a video um, a bunch of celebrity endorsements and real people endorsements of Bradley Manning I am Bradley Manning so I want to make it public to the whole world that I am Bradley Manning that as human beings, when we see something that is criminal, that is wrong, it doesn't matter who's doing it. Um, I'm not talking about being a rat fink. I'm talking about exposing war crimes. I mean, Bradley Manning should be sitting, you know, as a witness against people being charged with war crimes, not sitting in a prison cell with the lights on 24 hours a day without a cover well, it's just, I don't know. If you've never seen the video, um, Collateral Damage, it's the the video where he, that he leaked. I think it's like 27 minutes long of a United States helicopter firing upon unarmed citizens that ended up being Reuters uh, reporters. <laughs> just unbelievable. It, it certainly will put a perspective on what we're doing in the Middle East and so with that being said that's awfully heavy and I don't want to get too too heavy um, if, if you're not aware of what's going on if, if you aren't reaching out to to foreign uh, media outlets to kind of find out what's being said that our media outlets aren't saying then, you know, in this day of the information age, shame on you. You can't be complacent today. Things are happening too quickly. So, with that being said, let's move on to happy thoughts. This morning, I got back on track with my yoga. I had, for a few days there, I was a big old slacker about it, and I don't know what excuses I could come up for you with that. I just don't really, you know, they're excuses, basically. I was having troubles with my shoulders. And troubles with my wrist doing um downward facing dog and it's because of all the weight I put on last year and you know it turned that really awesome pose that used to be my favorite into one I dreaded in, in, in my 30 day challenge with Aaron Motz and um, do you do yoga dot com or do you yoga dot com uh, I just felt like there was an awful lot of downward facing dogs and I know it's nothing compared to what if I was doing a sun salutation sequence or something but Today was really great because I did day 11 and 12 together, which was a, a restorative yoga sequence first, and then one to help stretch and strengthen the wrists. So that was really good because it's exactly what I needed. And why I waited three or four days to do them is just bullshit, so whatever. Um, so I'm excited about getting back on track tomorrow and doing another one tomorrow. I really enjoy that 30-day yoga challenge super awesome. Of course, my 30-day yoga challenge probably will end up being more like 40 days, but in reality, I'll be doing yoga for 30 days, just not straight. Um, at least it's getting me back in the swing of it because I really love yoga. I don't know if you, you guys remember if, if you've been watching my channel for that long, but a while back, oh, I don't know, two and a half years ago, three years ago, Sarah and I did a juice fast and the yoga that we were doing was just like kind of freaking us out because when you're doing a juice fast you can do yoga whenever you want when you're when you're a normal person and eating regular meals you can't you have to have an empty stomach you have to have two hours of emptiness so with a juice fast everything you, you eat is completely liquid so I was kind of excited then about doing it and you know I always loved yoga I just always been you know one excuse after another some lazy crap old excuse after another it's really super easy um, as long as you just get peaceful with it and just get in the moment and just be quiet and 
listen to your body and take it a little bit further and pull it back when it starts to hurt. Yoga is great. Um, I can say this though, I have only done yoga in a classroom maybe twice in my life. Uh, once when I was really young, I probably was like 21 years old, I went with my mother to a Sivanyanda class in New York. and It was, it was like an all-day affair, it was like an open house. And that was kind of fun, and I don't remember much about being anything but fun. And then about three years ago, I went to, I had a five-day gym membership for free, so I went and used it, and I went to a yoga class, and uh, it was a flow sequence, and I enjoyed that a great deal. I was pretty surprised at how challenged I was, but I guess that's what happens when you're used to doing a 20-minute video here and there compared to doing an hour-long flow vinyasa so it's different so with that being said let's get into one of my goals that that I have for near future um, monetary goals monetary goals I would really 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 like to be you know part of a yoga studio where I could go and do classes every day or every other day in a professional environment I'm curious about that I've heard a couple of different stories from different folks about some some people feel clicky or whatnot, but you know, like Erin Moss, she's right here in Tampa. I mean, she can't be that far away. Super awesome. When I have a car, I would, I'd love to join her yoga studio, yoga studio and go for it, you know? I mean, why the heck not, right? So that's one of my goals. That's one of my financial goals is to to be able to exchange uh, the energy of money for the energy of getting world-class yoga instruction in a classroom setting. I kind of like it. So, Besides that, I ate really late tonight. I definitely ate late tonight, but I've been craving red meat like nuts. What's that about? I don't know, really. I don't know if it's that I'm craving iron or whatever. I don't know. But I've been wanting red meat. And tonight I did it. Um, I made a meatloaf. Excuse me. Hmm. I made a meatloaf and it was pretty good, but it was, oh, still didn't quite take me where I wanted to be with it. So, but what do you eat? What do you eat when you crave red meat and you don't want to eat a lot of red meat? Do you guys know? Do you have any ideas? Because if you do, tell me. Because maybe it is iron or something like that. Maybe I need to have more leafy greens. You're going to have to let me know. Maybe I'll have my my shake tomorrow morning with some spinach in it. That's got iron and calcium in there, so why not? Um, what else? I kind of like taking videos in the dark. It's pretty cool. Took a bunch of pictures today of the, the chickens. I've been st My garden's grown up enough to let them out of their chicken run, so they can kind of go around and do stuff. And... Uh, I took a bunch of pictures of them running around and you can see them on whitakergardens.blogspot.com awesome pictures um, also I got some pictures of the loofah that thinks that I talked about yesterday and you can see directly how it's going along the gutters um, and I think that's all I have to say today that's pretty much it I've had a really wonderful day again life has just been fantastic it gets better every minute all right, guys. I love you. Bye.